Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I am pre-recording like crazy because um, my computer is still not fixed. It's been like a month. I don't know why Apple cannot get their shit together. So there's that. Um, it's my little fan. Keeps it cool. So for today's video, we are going to do a makeup haul because I have been buying a lot of makeup recently for the past two or three weeks or so. Um, I have a ton of stuff I've been trying. I kind of was like, once a certain thing came out that I really wanted, it kind of just <laughs> set up a domino effect and I was like, I want everything. <laughs> and I have a bunch of new stuff to try out and show you. Some I've tried already, some I've been wearing like constantly, some I haven't even opened yet. So I will be able to give you some feedback on some of this stuff, which is good, which is always nice. And the rest of the stuff you'll see me use throughout the videos and I'll be um, giving you feedback as I start to use it. So let's get into it. So the first thing we are going to talk about is the Becca X Jacqueline Hill collaboration, the Champagne Glow Face Palette. We just zoom in. My god, you guys. Like, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? This is, like, just, just not even with the opening the palette yet. This packaging is everything. Um, so what this palette is, you get three blushes. It is the Becca Blush Formula, which is an amazing formula. And you get two of the ever so glorious Shimmering Skin Perfectas. You get Champagne Pop, which is the one, the iconic highlight of the summer, 2015. And you get this new one that Jacqueline created to suit darker skin tones, because Champagne Pop was giving darker skin tones some like really dark skin tones trouble because it was a little too light. Um, called the Seco Pop, and these are beautiful. I'm just gonna say what y'all know probably what Champagne Pop looks like. Yes, and this is Prosecco Pop. Beautiful. I love both of these. I've been wearing these constantly. I'm not wearing them today though. The formula is beautiful. They're so pigmented, so creamy. Um, wearing a lot of looks. If you check my Instagram. That palette's like everywhere, like at least every other day in my makeup description. Like it is there, it is here to stay. Congratulations, Jacqueline, once again. This is beautiful, amazing job. Um, and yeah, this is very happy. This has been my life. And funny story, I actually got this palette. Um, it was supposed to release in June 16th in the stores, but I went on June 15th, that was my only day off. I heard that you could go up to them and you can ask if they have this palette in stock and if they do, like not on the shelves, but like, you know, like that little, and they just go to drawer and maybe they just pull up and like, it's just everywhere. Um, if they have it in there, they'll give it to you and you can buy it even if it's not technically released yet. And that's exactly what happened. So I got this a day early. I beat the storm and best life decision ever. I have been meaning to try out these products, the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liners. There's one particular one that I wanted, M30. I'll show them all in a minute, the ones that I have. It is like a um, mint, light mint green shade. I have a ton of colored pencils. Colored pencils, I kind of have a little obsession um, back in the day, but I don't actually have a pencil that color, so I was like, I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get that one. Then, <laughs> I saw that this was a thing. The Charlie XCX Festival Faves Makeup Forever. You get four of these Aqua XL bad boys. And one of them was the M30 pencil that I wanted. So I was just like, I don't really need all these, but do I really need anything related to makeup? Yes. Spent a good $49. Um, but good thing is, if you like any of these individually, you can get them individually because they're all, they're not like a special set, like they're all pulled from the line. So they have all these pencils individually. You can get them for $20 a piece, I believe, which is, you know, expected. Um, here it is, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. Isn't this soap? You can tell this is beautiful. I'm gonna slash it for you. Let's see it. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. So beautiful, so pigmented. So with these pencils, they actually, um, they're smudgeable when you first put them on. So like, if you want to do like a cut crease with them, you can. But they do eventually set. Like, compared to like the, the Urban Decay 2047, those, the Urban Decay 2047s don't set. Like, they stay blendable. 
which is a good thing for me because I really do like to use those to like do a nice cut crease and like blend it out. But these will set, and once they set, I'll show you in a minute, they will not move. Um, you also get a black one in this set, and it is like, it's black honey. It's black honey. So there's that as well. I would say it's pretty worth the money, especially if you don't have any of these colored pencils and you want to, you know, try something really festive and creative, want to add like pops of color to your look, or you just want a really nice black pencil that will not budge throughout the day for whatever application you may need it for. Um, just good stuff, good stuff, baby. All right, let me see. I want to show you. Do you see that? The black one's probably not set yet, but this green one is like not budging. So not budging at all. See that shit? God damn. I picked up something that's not so new to me. Um, I've been trying to find a dupe for this like forever, like in all in CVS and everywhere, and I found something close, but I just, there's really nothing else like it. I think with setting sprays, I really do feel like from my experience, you do get what you pay for. Like, the ones that are higher priced, even the ones that are higher priced in CVS, are better than like the $5 ones. Um, I tried Wet n Wild. I really do love the Photo Focus line, but that $5 setting spray, that just did not work for me. One I really do love from the drugstore is L'Oreal Infallible. I've been using that a lot lately. Well, actually, that's pretty much all I've been using. <laughs> And that's still like $20, so that's still pretty pricey for a drugstore. And I'm sure y'all know the one on the top of the line, and what I'm about to say, I picked up an Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm ridiculous, I picked up the small one because I thought maybe I would try to convince myself that I'm not like a terrible, like, lust, lusting human being. And it's like, oh, but if I get the small one, I can save money. Like, I'm not gonna just use this up in like five seconds and just, get the, just end up getting a bigger one anyway and just prolong it, basically. So, I don't know why. But I was like, in the moment, I was like, I know this check's gonna be pretty big, so I'll make myself feel a little better. Because, like, I have such a money spending weird thing. It's like, it takes me forever to buy makeup. Because it's like, I'll get there, and I'll just be like, eh. Like, I'll, I'll get to the checkout, and I'll see the price, and I'm just like, eh. Just reconsidering my whole damn life in that moment. Like, do I really need all this shit, though? Like, I'm contemplating, like, I'm like going back and forth to the site, like, oh, what well, if I do this instead of this, and this instead of this? You know, try get try to get it to a number where I don't feel like a piece of shit, but it never happens. So anyway, I love this stuff. This stuff keeps your shit locked all day. Um, I need the best of the best when it comes to setting sprays because I work in hot kitchens all day and I'm very oily. So that shit has to be locked, darling, locked. I also picked up two of. Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, darling. Got two shades. The first one I got is called Berlin. Now, I looked at this on the website and it, it just looks different to me than it is. It looks, I mean, he, here though, I guess it does kind of look like a hot pink, but I don't know. When I put it on, it looks like redder to me. I don't know. I guess. I guess it looks hot pink there too. I don't know. Maybe I was just really phasey that day. I don't know if I really like this shade that much. It's not... It's hot pink, but it looks like it has like a little like red tone to it. I don't know if you could see on camera, but to me it does look like it has a red tone. I'm not totally into it, like I did wear it, I wore it in that, um, I did a look with the Makeup Fair Rare Cell Liners and this lipstick, um, to like, you know, try new products out, and I'm not sure how I like, I mean, I didn't hate it, but I just don't feel like it's a color that I'm going to reach for a lot, and it being so expensive, it's kind of just like, mm, I don't know. I think I'm actually going to return this color. The other color, however, I got, which is in the shade Lovesick. This color I love so much. Oh my god. It is like a beautiful, like, a dusty rose nude. Super nice and pinky. This color I've been wearing a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, stop. 
Oh my god, you guys, this color is so pretty. I've worn this like twice already since I've gotten it, which is pretty good considering how many lipsticks I have to go through. These are both long lasting, so if you like either of these shades, I would recommend both of them to you. Move on to Ulta now. So my Ulta haul wasn't quite as exciting because a lot of these products um, were really just like refills of products I had already. I picked up this brush that I wanted forever. The Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection 300 Taper Brush. Look at this brush, you guys. This brush. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god, I'm gonna back out so the brush gets a spotlight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, you guys. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Um, so this is a blush brush technically, so I'm assuming it can be a little blush. But I've seen other people use it for foundation, and it looks really dense, so I feel like it's actually apply foundation though, which is actually why I'm going to use it for, I think. Uh, speaking of L'Oreal and the yeah, little setting spray, oh, this for the first time. I picked up two more. <laughs> I really do love this setting spray a lot. It's been very good to me. Um, so I decided to stock up because I got one half off, so cha-ching! That's good. Um, I already told you about that, so I don't need to go into detail. Good setting spray, check it out. I also got two of my favorite concealers of all time. No, I actually got three. The first one's over in my vanity place. I got the NYX HD concealer. I meant to get two, but I misdid the thing where it's like, so what I, so what I did was buy a one half, half off, and I wanted to get my shade, which is CW01, it's the lightest one, because I like to do like a very brightening highlight. I purchased two of the CW01s, and then I purchased one in CW02, I was like, let's get, let's get one that's slightly darker and let's see, maybe I could use that in more like, you know, natural makeup days so where I don't want to have like a super bright under eye. So we'll try the one in CW02, which is probably closer to my actual skin tone. CW01 is very light. Um, so I got, I ended up getting two CW01s by accident, just because of, because uh, I'm bad at life. <laughs> Um, but honestly, I go through this concealer so fast, you guys. It's ridiculous. Like, literally, like, I just empty it and I'm applying it. And I'm like, I just bought this, like, five seconds ago. Are you kidding? So, um, that's fun. This Ulta carries my favorite toner, which is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. This is meant to, I'm gonna read the bottle. Refresh, exfoliate, and help soften the look of fine lines and wrinkles with our alcohol free glycolic acid toner. Glycolic acid and grapefruit extract work together to help dull, tired skin look fresh and rejuvenated. Formulated with aloe vera to help soothe your skin. They right? write about all those things. This does really brighten my skin. It helps just clear away all those pores to help, um, you know, moisturizer get taken well and. You know, whatever the fuck toner is supposed to do. Not recommended for acne erupted skin, so I don't want to use anything for acne. Um, I don't, I, don't I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I have very sensitive skin, like I do, who doesn't break out occasionally? No one's gonna like live their entire life without breaking out. But, um, because going on estrogen, which by the way, I'm about to be on two months on estrogen. I'll probably hopefully do a video about that soon. I'll do a video about a bunch of trans stuff. Let me know if you want to see that, because I might, I want to try to incorporate that stuff into my channel because it's kind of a big deal. Um, and I could very easily do it. Plenty to talk about in anything LGBT community related, especially nowadays with all the craziness that's been going on, which we know. Everyone talks about how like high end primers are so much better. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'll try one. And I actually have found some high end primers I really like. And one of them is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, everyone's talking about this. It really does just like do something to your skin, just blurs it out in a way, and blurs out like those pores, and just really like foundation just lays so beautifully over this primer. Um, if I want to be more mattifying, I'll mix it with my Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I love that one as well. That's a little, that little like luxury primer cocktail I make right there. Expensive and disgusting, but so. I do a lot of drugstore primers too, but I do understand the hype about it. And I do see the, the difference in my skin with this primer. Um, so, the full size is like 38 to all this, but this one is like, it's a travel size technically, and it is 16 to this. So, that's not so bad, you know, if the their primers, if in the drugstore they spent like 16 to on. And this will last me. Last but not least, possibly the most exciting, honestly. Like I'm like I'm I get just as excited to go to CVS as I do to like Sephora and Ulta. I love my CVS. I'm a member. I get so many rewards from there. 
it's ridiculous. It's like, and the other day I found this $5 coupon that was gonna expire in like three days and I was like, I gotta use it. <laughs> so, and I meant to buy only like two things and they didn't have either of those two things. I wanted to get NYX blush and taupe because a lot of pale gurus are talking about how like it's such a great blush to like contour with and everything. I kind of get a new contour thing, which I did. Um, and trying to just, just to try some new things, you know, because it's like, you ever like look at something, like, I've been using this for like nine years. This is like my entire life, like, and I feel a little attached right now and a little uncomfortable because I don't like attachment. But that and also the e.l.f. under eye brightening powder because everyone's talking about that too. Um, both, I didn't buy them. I was like, eh, I'm gonna buy other things. And I saw the sales, I was like, I'm gonna buy more things, I'm gonna buy more things. I got these guys because I heard a YouTuber talk about them. Birds, bees, facial cleansing wipes. They have a bunch of flavors. They also have an exfoliating one with like apricot. I don't know how exfoliating. I mean, I don't know how exfoliating a face wipe is gonna be. Like honestly, like thinking about it, but they do have exfoliating apricot ones if you are willing to try that out. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am not though, so I got one in pink grapefruit and one in cucumber sage. I don't think they have different properties. I think it's just like, you know, a scent or flavor, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, actually, one's for dry skin, one's for oily skin. So I guess I'll be using this one more. This is the one for oily skin, this one for dry. So it's normal to dry, normal to oily. Here I picked up the fucking cap broke, but like not the cap, but like the cover. And I love Milani. I love Milani. Milani blushes are still my favorite blushes of all time. Even even with this Becca, Milani blushes are just so on point. I picked up in replacement of the mixed blush and taupe, which I was gonna get. I instead got this Milani eyeshadow in the shade Bella Cappuccino. Is I saw it with a nice cool tone brown, and I heard first of all these were like four dollars each, and I heard this formula was not super pigmented. But that could be a good thing because you don't want a contour shade to be too pigmented because then you're gonna like rush to apply it and then it's gonna get, gonna cut your cheek in half and it's gonna be all muddy and it's gonna be blood everywhere and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're just gonna have to spend forever blending it. You're probably gonna have to take it off and do it over again. It's gonna be such a hot mess. So it's good to have a little control by using a less pigmented product. I don't know if this is gonna show up, but. It's this guy right here. All right, let me let me get my shit together. I have like arm hair, so like swatches are like, I feel like swatches on my actual arm aren't really gonna do much. Um, swatch on my hand. Yeah, duh, this. <laughs> I'm so extra. I swatched it twice. This is after swatching it twice. It's not, as you can see, you can barely even see it. Maybe you can't even see it at all. I have really good vision, so. But the packaging, it's really golden and shiny and luminescent it kind of looks like it kinda, Milani kind of has like that high-end feel even though it's a drugstore brand which I kind of like about it do you guys know if they're actually set in Italy I was wondering this or is it just like some dude was like I'm gonna like milk the shit out of this country by <laughs> using all their fucking name Italian names name all my products and make it sound really fancy and luxurious when really I just have no other creativity otherwise I'm just I'm just kidding I'm kidding don't block me or me, please. Um, no, I'm just curious. So just let me know in the comments if you know that Milani is actually based in Italy or if it's just, you know, an Italian named thing. Just someone just like, oh, let's do an Italian named brand. They all swag. Um, but yeah, that's what I used to come for today. Oh, but I actually, I also used a bunch of the Urban Decay electric pigments because I'm doing like a... Let me zoom in on my look. I did a beautiful, like, sort of neon fantasy, and I actually, I don't know if you can really tell, I did sort of contour with, like, some of the shadows in the Urban Decay Electric palette to give my face, just to sort of tie in the color story together a little bit. Um, I like to do that sometimes when I do really colorful looks like these. When I do an Urban Decay Electric palette look, I almost always use Savage as a blush. I just feel like that monochromatic thing going on, you got, like, the similar colors that you have in your eyes and your cheeks and it just sort of comes together so these other things are new i don't know why i got this i don't need like more glittery stuff like i have so much glitter that i never even use but i got this i forgot i even got this until now 
Revlon Photo Ready, it's the Photo Ready line, Photo Ready Eye Art. And you've probably heard of this, you get, on one end you get a glitter, I haven't even opened it yet. Let's open it, let's open it together. Oh, it's the other way. Oh, it's not, I almost poured that shit all over the floor. So this is the glitter. Um, yeah, it goes kind of patchy. Um, I probably would be nice over something, maybe, but by on its own, I don't think it's really that great. I don't know if I like this that much. Then you also get a liner. Like, you get this, this is like the blue one, you get this color blue liner. Let me see. What is this applicator, too? Why is this like a lip applicator? Like, it's supposed to be a liner. Are you crazy? Uh, ooh, this? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. Look at this. You guys, look at this. A lot of stuff on my hands, so I might be struck with it. That's the sil this like silvery thing right here. That's this. That's that's pretty. And that that went on a lot more nicely than the glitter. I want to see. Does it dry? Let me try to dry it with my hand. Maybe it doesn't dry. I think it's like. I think it's gonna dry. It's like a liquid liner. Um, I'm gonna put the glitter on top of this. I want to see how that looks. Um. I'm not super, like, impressed. Eh, it's pretty, I guess. I guess you probably make it work on the eyes somehow, but I don't know. It's definitely, I try glitter liners. This is not, I don't think I'm gonna like this one as much as others. Um, ones that I do love, the Urban Decay, oh my god, the Urban Decay ones. You need to get, I know, $20, but you've got to get it. You need to try at least one. Get Midnight Cowboy, that's the one everyone uses. I was obsessed with that liner for, like, a good two weeks straight. I'd wear it with, like, every single look. It's, it's... That stuff is actual glitter. Like, you can see the glitter particles, like, reflecting. Like, it's beautiful. Um, the Nexus Crystal Liners, I love those as well. And those are a lot cheaper. Those are those as well. They sting my eyes sometimes, though. So, I don't know if it's a thing for everyone. So, I like this side, but I don't like this side. This is good. This is not good. No, no, no. Last one of the things I got is... Another thing from Revlon. Um, Revlon had a 50% off buy one get one. So you buy one thing and you get 50% off on the next thing. So I was like, I'm gonna buy two things. I wanted to buy the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I wanna try that one. I love the Revlon Color Stay. I'm wearing it today. But um, the Photo Ready Foundation, um, I can give you a nice airbrush effect. I love that in a foundation. Cause I'm gonna look editorial all the time. And I want to actually do a half and half compare it with the Photo Ready to see how which one's better, which one more better, if they were that different. But I don't think they had the shade that I wanted. I wanted like, I think with the, the Revlon one, I had like the second to lightest. I got this, the tag is on the name. Let me just take the tag off. No, there's not a tag, there's not a tag underneath it. Why am I too? Oh no, it's the first part of the first tag I ripped off. Oh, my life is in shambles. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, why is there another tag? Okay, this is the Revlon Photo Ready, Photo, wow, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. That was so easy. Um, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation Stick. I use that for like touch-ups, but to be honest, I don't love it that much. I've just kind of been in the red and using it, but it's like, I feel like it like kind of looks really breaky, especially like, I usually touch up like over here on my upper lip because that's where the foundation will really like, um, disintegrate faster and break off. And like, it'll just, it just won't like really conform to my skin. I mean, I understand it doesn't have like primer or anything at that point, so. It needs a little help. I haven't tried using it like properly, like as an actual like people like to use that one as a concealer, even though it's a foundation stick. I wouldn't use it as a foundation stick. I don't think it's that great for that. So, I got the Revlon Photo Ready concealer. I thought it was cheaper, and I thought it was like twelve. It was sixteen. So I was like, maybe this one would be better to use as like I would only use this as like touch ups. I could use it as a concealer too, just to, you know try it out. It feels creamier. This is in the shade light. I think it's, I think it's the lightest one. It's pretty light. Definitely a concealer on me for sure. Um, let's see how it, okay. Well, it blends nicely on the hand, but you know, the hand and the face are not the same thing. So we're not gonna know for sure how good this is until we try it. So I'm just gonna put it away for now. Last thing before this ADD ridden mess is over. I was like, let's get some more primer. Cause you know, primers, some you can always stock up on because you know I use it every day. So I love Rimmel primers. Um, I love Rimmel Fix and Perfect. It's really great, especially for oily skin. Rimmel Stay Matte is like a super like sickingly mattifying primer. I find if I use it mixed with other primers, like I like to use it mixed with my Nivea Aftershave Balm. 
Because, like, the Dippy Shea Balm is really moisturizing. It's a good primer. It really, because, like, you know, it builds up that glycerin and it really, like, keeps it on face. But it's a little moisturizing, and sometimes I don't really want to add more moisture. So what I'll actually do is I'll mix some of the Rimmel Stay Matte in it. And it actually prevents the Nivea Aftershave Balm from getting too moisturizing. It, like, because it's mattifying, it, like, sort of, like, pulls it back and evens it out. So anyway, I want, so Rimmel has a third primer and I decided to try it out. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. Skin perfecting, increases foundation wear for up to eight hours. Okay. Um, like I said, I work in a kitchen. Um, it's really hot, so anything to help my foundation stay on, I'm willing to use. So I'm very, it's only like $7. I was going to get a NYX one to try. I was going to get like the NYX Shine Killer, but that's like dollars so i was like let's get the less expensive one it's only like seven and let's see if it works really well because if it's you know the cheaper it is the better it works the happier jojo is so <laughs> we're gonna try this out and i will let you know at some point how it is and yeah so that's pretty much it i think that's everything that is the haul and that is everything i've gotten which is a total fucking lie i bought more makeup yesterday on bh cosmetics <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. I'm just like, I don't care anymore, you guys. Like, makeup is, like, the only thing that makes me happy sometimes. It's like, put it in my life. Put it in my life. I don't care. Give, 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 it, all, give it all to me. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Help a bitch out. I want to see more of you. I hope you want to see more of me. I love you all, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.